I began the course knowing quite a bit about magazines, but not that much really. So our first main task was to produce a magazine or well, a mock up of of doing a magazine cover and a contents page. And here is the magazine cover. And it was uh it's quite difficult difficult to do at first because I had to uh plan it and get an idea of what to do. And I wasn't very good at it at first. So it didn't really plan out that well. So I re well, uh, yeah, and uh, and then I had to. Um, so then I used went to the internet and looked at skills about how to do a magazine cover, because at first I didn't really have much of an idea. And um, and here's the shows that I just put lots of images together on the front of a magazine. I not really an idea of where to put it, and the title wasn't very was the only clear part of the magazine and the text didn't really stand out and also the back the back of the picture is just the back of the school but it didn't look very professional and, um, and most magazines usually have a, a one color background which which I didn't really use at first and it didn't look the best and um and yeah also um and then I went over some more skills but I didn't, wasn't exactly sure what to do, and um, the the reason was also because I didn't have much Photoshop skills at the beginning. I did have some Photoshop skills from year eleven and year ten because I did media, but overall I didn't really have much knowledge about what to do either than just put an image and take a picture, and I didn't really know much about cropping. So, which is the reason why I just had a normal background and not just take a normal picture without any cutting of the image and put it on a different background so it doesn't really look the best. And also, for the actual images themselves, they looked they were just put in different places without any context. And because I wasn't really sure about Photoshop in general, about what to do and how to make it look as well as others. And um and and yeah, and then after this, this led me to do my contents page, which was also which was not as difficult because I didn't have to cut as much. And uh and yeah, the image is about to come up now of the contents page. And it was um yeah, I didn't really have much Photoshop skills I to, to do much with it, but I just made it was very it's very simple and uh, didn't really know what to do. To be honest, I didn't even have much of, just I just had a plain white background and just had the contents at the top and, um, and just some books at the bottom and a t-shirt and just yeah and it's not very detailed and unlike other contents pages, they have much more going on. I didn't really know how to lay out properly, so due to my Photoshop skills not being that advanced at the time, and like now, and um, yeah, if I spent more time with that, then I would have known what to do. But like this, I didn't really know as much what to do, and uh, I only had five. I didn't really know also much about magazines in general about how they would be laid out so I just put random things I thought would be in a magazine because if you look at more contents pages they have more pe more pages going on and also images to represent the most important pages in the magazine so if I'd like the artist for my music magazine that that would be a link from one of the numbers on the page but here it's just uh, just a bunch of numbers and some random images and it doesn't and if it was a reader they wouldn't really be interested in reading the magazine. So that also made me research made me have to research about what a reader would want in a magazine and looking at other magazines as well. Because here it's very vague and simple. It could be much better. I also had to say about about me producing this magazine and, 
and the thoughts it, on it overall and, uh, and that's basically what I said in my evaluation as well because I didn't really have an idea a clear idea of what my magazine would actually be it was more just put things together and that'll be it so I had to learn about planning doing much more planning before because I didn't do much planning then so yeah I didn't really cut the best so then our next our next topic task was to uh, do planning and market research so we uh, analyzed many magazines for our work and the first one was um the first one was the I think the target audience was the target audience which is about to come up now on the image Yeah, the target audience analysis. So it's to um, look about how magazines would aim at their target audience. Because at first, I didn't really have a target audience. It was just well, I had a sort of idea of what the target audience was, but not specifically. I'll just make it as a normal school magazine without an idea of how to actually attract that target audience. Because they would just think it's a school magazine and not a specific target audience, but looking at different magazines you can actually see a specific target audience and who they're aiming at and it would make more sense like as that so that's why if you look at magazines such as um um I don't know, just think, uh okay magazine they they know how to target an audience or any other music magazines such as um well, as my one was Mixmag, they knew how to target their house music audience very well because they know that what their audience are into. So they'll do market research before as well. So I get an idea from their, how they produce the magazines. Here's the reader profile, which is um, more of like what the target audience would be into. So images about what they would do and. Well, I mean, what they would be into, and um, sort of like a sum up, basically. And using this can sort of get an idea of how to lay your magazine by what their preferences are, so it can appeal to them more. Which is how other professional magazines also do this as well, because if they don't know, they don't know how to get the audience's attention, then they won't get the, their, them to read it. So this is why it's pretty important. And this is also part of the research before, and this is a list of uh, some of the stuff I I done to to do market research and get more skills into producing the magazine, which I now have a better understanding of. So now I know what to do, and um, yeah, and if I if I do much as market research, then my magazine would not have as much attention put into because it will um it will make me not have an idea of what to do and how to, how to do it for all the for all the planning tasks there were many different things i had to do and also use many different types of um of software to produce my work and this also gave me some knowledge of of different ways to present my work and ha and also how to use it and this also helped me gain more knowledge of uh, software in general because it's different, so it's different to what I usually use. Because to usually present my work, I don't use Microsoft Word, which is very vague and simple. But um, but now using these different types of software, I now have more skill, and uh, and producing the market research also ties in together. So now I have more knowledge of magazines and more knowledge of of software. So now I can produce a much better magazine than before, because at first they didn't have much knowledge of the technology used. And also much about magazines in general. Only that they just have to look decent. But now I have a much clearer idea. And here is just some of the ideas for the front cover. As you can see, the different ideas I had. And here is the final product I done. And it's much it looks more more professional than before. And uh, and I have a much more clear idea of how my magazine will look, having um, a title. And um, 
many different things. I think it's the, the second you know, the finish called Arthur. But this is where I, I came to mainly as a and now I have um I don't know where to put my I also have a clear colour scheme as well, black and red. So I as before I knew as before I just had much more different colours but now I have a clear colour scheme because that's what I learned from analysing other magazines for my market research. And now it's about to come into my contents page. And this is actually my final one. And as you can see there's much more on the actual image and um and it also looks similar to the other one as my previous one didn't look similar at all and it didn't wasn't very consistent. So now it's much more consistent, which is what another idea you have to follow when making mag making a magazine, having the double page, contents page and front cover all have that same consistent feel to them because if they all look different then it feels like three different types of magazines. But now I have this contents page and also have images on the right to show like the main ones such as the interview with uh, my artist and some others as well like Calvin Harris and then like the UK top 40 as well because I know that's what my target audience would be into so now it's looking at target audience and now his double page spread also for being consistent with the others as it has um, all three as you can see have AMP which is the name of my magazine which is a reference to sound and overall I think I have much more skill about magazines in general unlike before so um yeah this is uh these are my three magazine three parts of ma of making a magazine yeah thank you